Let's go over an example paper. For your project three, student, thank you to the brave student who made this all possible. This student was analyzing The Great Gatsby and was using the theoretical lens of queer theory. They found some outside artifacts, that is pictures, to include in their analysis. You don't have to do that, but it really made this pop. Because the argument the student is making is about the portrayal and visibility of the LGBTQ community in The Great Gatsby and why that matters, why it's continuing to matter in society. Here the student begins to list outside sources that they're finding. This source, dealing with nightlife for the LGBTQ community in the 1920s, would create context. Because it's not necessarily about The Great Gatsby, but it is about the the situation that's being described in The Great Gatsby and that this student is drawing parallels to. I love this outline. This is a wonderful way to organize your thoughts for your paper, even after you've already written them. So after the introduction, where the student has a thesis, notice, or thesis is there, it introduces the term queer because queer is used in many different ways and it's using a scholarly definition and the student has even cited where they're getting that definition from. Notice how it begins with a strong pro focus on a primary text in these body paragraphs. That is introducing, here's what's going on in the text and then making the connection to either context or to what other people have said about the novel itself. That is an excellent move because it makes sure that this is your argument and it's not being hijacked by another source. This final section really expands on the cultural connections. Whereas here we're looking at, these are scholarly sources that deal with the Great Gatsby. Here, it really is moving back to cultural connections as well as a biographical reading of Fitzgerald himself. And the conclusion, why it matters. Here, what I really liked were the broad range of sources that are being used, ones that are about Nick and Gatsby, as well as ones that are about just queer studies in American literature. Because these two things are coming into conversation in this text and it made it really robust. Notice there's six sources. It's a lot more than was required. You may need more sources too to make your argument all you want it to be. Now let's take a look at the actual paper.